We all have to remember that every successful person in this world has the same 24 hours in the day. Now how are they able to do all of these things and we aren't able to be as efficient as all of the successful people are being? Well they have a few techniques and strategies to help them throughout their day. Hello everybody, my name is Alan Northern, your humble host of PCL and welcome to another exciting episode. So today, here are eight time management techniques to help you conquer the world. Number one, it's important for me to state that most people miss this step. Most people don't start the day off with a clear focus and they just basically wake up and just start winging it. They just say, I woke up, all right, let's just check my phone, see my text messages, see what's going on. But most people who are successful have a morning routine that helps focus and orient their day so that they're able to accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. A clear mind, a clear head, what you want to accomplish for that day, how you want to feel, and what you're going to do, broad strokes, so that you can basically orient your mind and brain towards accomplishing a set of goals. For you, it could be something that keeps you calm and keeps you sane and relaxes you before you start your day because you know you're gonna have a hectic, stressful day. You wanna start your day off right with a morning ritual. Some successful people start their day off preparing a cup of coffee. Some successful people start it off by playing their favorite song. There are a lot of different things that you can do in the mornings to basically clear your mind and focus your day and hone it in so that you can think about what you're going to do. Number two, minimizing distractions. So there's one thing that I used to do. I used to prepare a meal and I used to eat it and I used to eat it while watching Netflix or eat it while watching long YouTube videos. That just wasted a lot of time because a meal that could have taken me 15 to 20 minutes to finish now took me 30 to 45 minutes to finish because I'm enthralled in a movie or I'm watching a scene or I'm watching a sketch on YouTube. That can essentially hold you back from accomplishing a lot of things that you want to accomplish in your day. These distractions could be anything. They're Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And I'm not saying don't go on Facebook or don't go on Instagram or don't go on Twitter or anything like that but it's very very important to balance and find out how to make those interruptions a productive part of your day instead find out how you can make a productive trip on Twitter or a productive trip on Instagram to try to accomplish and tie it in to whatever you want to accomplish in that day so the third time management technique that we're going to talk about today is using a calendar finding a way to utilize a calendar in your life is critical to time management because all calendars have deadlines day one only lasts for so long day two only lasts for so long there's 30 days in a month. Everything on that calendar basically reminds you that it has a built-in deadline and that you've got to complete said deadline by whatever date. So you can use it in order to plan movie trips, to plan study sessions, to write all your coursework on there, to put all of your long-term assignments on your calendar as well. So there's one calendar tool that I use every single day, and I'm sure you've heard of it, Google Calendar. The moment I stepped into college is the moment where I actually had to use Google Calendar because after a while I got so overwhelmed, I'm like, okay, what's going on? It's a visual representation of what times you're occupied and what times you're not occupied. Planning. If you want to accomplish anything great in life, which we all do, we all want to conquer the world, we need to plan. Any big accomplishment is a culmination of a lot of little activities that you have succeeded at and has eventually culminated into this big, massive success. So the technique that I utilize to help with planning is basically a SMART technique, and that's probably something that you've heard of since high school. SMART, it's an acronym, so the first thing stands for specific, so whatever you plan has to be specific. And the second thing is measurable measurable. So what does that mean? It basically means that after you've done that activity, there's a way, a quantifiable way that you can measure if you've actually achieved whatever you've achieved or set out to plan whatever you plan. So make sure whatever you plan is measurable. The third letter in the acronym is achievable. We want to make sure we set realistic goals. We don't want to say, okay, I want to go to Mars. I want to go to Jupiter, I want to create a movie in one day, you know? Like, we don't want to set things that are unrealistic for ourselves because that puts a lot of negative pressure on us. We want to make sure it's all achievable so that we set realistic goals for ourselves. Make sure that your planning is relevant, relevant to whatever you want to accomplish in your overall day, something that ties back into the clear focus that we talked about in our first point. So the last letter in this acronym is time limited. You want to make sure that whatever you're planning for yourself actually has a limited time frame that you can accomplish said goal in. And you also want to be sure that you give yourself a respectable amount of time to complete whatever you want to complete. 
The next important technique about time management is balance. You've got to balance your life properly. You want to balance your life with work and play accordingly because if you don't, then you're going to end up stressed all the time with no relief. It's extremely important to have work and play collaborate in harmony. Prioritizing what's important and what's not is key in executing whatever you want to execute because even if you've set out all of your goals for the entire day and you know I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that, it's very important that you say task A is more important than task B. And so set and prioritize task A above task B so that if you're not finished task B, and task A that day, it's good. You've done task A, that's out of the bag. Now you can save task B for the next day. The people who you surround yourself with is a big, big contributing factor to your success in life. It measures a lot of your productivity. If you're around a lot of productive people, odds are you're gonna be productive like they are. If you're around a lot of people who don't work that hard, odds are you may slide back a little bit and work less hard as you could work. The people who you surround yourself by is a huge contributing factor to what you actually get done. And that brings me to my final point, accountability. And so we don't wanna to be too hard on ourselves, but we've gotta remember that if we wanna accomplish something big in life, we've gotta say, oof, I messed up there, oof, I did that wrong, or oh my gosh, I didn't study for that exam like I should have. It ensures that you're gonna actually get back on the horse and continue whatever tasks that you may not have done too well on. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything that I missed, did I miss anything? Please let me know. Please let me know in the comments below and we're gonna talk about it and I might talk about it in the next video. I'm Alan Northern and that was PCL. Give yourself a respectable amount of time to pump it up every single day, and that's pretty, and that's a clear focus that you worked on at the very at the very day three only lasts for so long. There's 30 months in it. This, uh, uh, I know, I know, I did it, and it's like it flows off and then it stops. Stop. How can I rectify? Yeah, rect. I don't like rectum. Rect. So it's very important that you have that you plan. So you basically got to say to yourself, oof, how do I move on from this failure? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, what's that? Because I don't, I don't remember the next point. You don't have a plan. You have, you have no success. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I, I was going to say of, but I said it already. I feel like you're just accepting. You're just like giving up. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, finding a way to incorporate, I love the way you say things. I said ties back into the clear focus, right? Cool, next point. That was good. You liked how I wrapped that up? I'm getting better. Second point, what is it? Okay, cool, yeah, but that was a good bit, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just asking, everybody want to be approved of. Oprah said it herself.